Prior to Monday, if there's one thing most individuals would have said with a fair amount of certainty regardless of their political leaning, it's that Speaker Nancy Pelosi can and will do anything necessary and within her power to impeach Donald Trump. However, based on what she said in a Monday interview with The Washington Post, perhaps that isn't the case. I'm not for impeachment, she told The Post. This is news is that I'm going to give you some news right now because I haven't said this to any press person before, she continued. But since you asked, and I've been thinking about this, impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country. And he's just not worth it, she concluded. However, based on the amount of laughter she indulged in during the interview, I'm not so sure I'm buying it. Perhaps it was all a ruse to throw Donald Trump off her scent. I mean, surely Pelosi knows she has no choice but to impeach Trump, otherwise her own voters may never forgive her and will punish the Democratic Party accordingly. Right? But that's the point, of course. Pelosi can't impeach Trump today. More than likely, that is the reality here. While Pelosi and the House certainly could try to impeach Trump today, if they really wanted to, it wouldn't do much good considering the Senate could then vote along party lines in opposition of the impeachment, making the entire process a complete and utter waste of time. Instead, Pelosi knows that successfully impeaching Donald Trump will require a much different and more methodical angle. With the support of House Democrats, Robert Mueller, the SDNY, and the Attorney General of New York, Pelosi will be able to use numerous hearings, subpoenas, and court filings to her benefit, opening the eyes of the Republican Party and ridding Trump of the presidency once and for all. In other words, what may have seemed like a confusing move by Pelosi at the time is suddenly making much more sense. Well done, Nancy.